Hi guys! How are you? Welcome to my channel. I'm your host Dr. Sene and I have decided to bring you the story of a serial imposter who was known as the king of imposters and the master of new identities who like Peter Pan didn't want to grow up. But before you get into that, for those who are new to my channel, I post videos on Tuesdays and Sundays on true crime, celebrity news and all kinds of strange happenings and all kinds of stuff that I feel I would love to share with you all. Hope you enjoy the videos and give me a like and subscribe too. Don't forget to add a comment as well. Thank you. Let's get into this now. Frederick Pierre Boudin was born in Nantier, France on 13th June 1974 and was raised by his grandparents in Nantes. He ran away and eventually went to Paris. He never knew his father who his mother had stated was a married Algerian immigrant named Casey. Frederick became notorious throughout the world as a serial imposter. The press has nicknamed him the Chameleon. He began his impersonations as a child and claims to have assumed at least 500 false identities, three of which have been actual teenage missing people. Now that is very, very immoral at all kinds of levels. We'll get into that later. Let's find out a bit more of the depraved antics of Frederick Pierre Boudin, the master imposter. As I said before, he loved playing the lives of kids. He took it very far. Now, who did Frederick pretend to be in 1997, guys? Nicholas Barclay. Nicholas Barclay, a troubled child who had a criminal record by the age of 13, was last seen playing basketball with his friends in his hometown of San Antonio, Texas on the 13th of June, 1994. Barclay never returned home and had not been seen or heard from since. In October of 1997, three years and four months after the teenager Nicholas vanished, law enforcement officials received a phone call from a man at a youth shelter in Linares in Spain. The caller said that Nicholas was living at the Spanish shelter after escaping from a child sex ring operation. The man said that Nicholas had been abused for years. When this information was relayed to the Barclay family, Nicholas's sister flew to Spain immediately, identified the person as her brother and brought him back to Texas. Now this was Frederick Bodan who managed to successfully dupe Nicholas's own sister to make her believe that he was her long lost brother. He had now taken the identity of the 17 year old teenager. Frederick was 23 years old and then flew home with Nicholas's sister pretending to be the lost child of the Barclay family who would be around 17 by then. Now guys, I need to tell you, remember, that Nicholas Barclay had blue eyes. Nicholas's mother, Mrs. Barclay, believed the young man was her lost child. But many other people, including his uncle, were suspicious of the bizarre claims of this young man who had dark brown hair and dark brown eyes. I told you, remember, that Nicholas had blue eyes? He spoke with a French accent and used European expressions. Frederick had answers to all the questions that people were asking because they were puzzled and full of doubt. He said his abductors had chemically altered his eye and hair color and that he picked up different speech patterns from living in Europe for so long and the harrowing stories of how he had escaped from a child prostitution ring touched his mother's heart. He refused to voluntarily give blood samples or have his fingerprints taken to confirm his identity and he refused to name his abductors. Guys, Boudin lived with the Barclay family for almost five months until 6 March 1998. Can you believe this? This is a total stranger 
living in the Basley family home, pretending to be their lost child, and he is accepted by the family as their lost son, Nicholas. In late 1997, a local private investigator grew suspicious of who this young man was while he was working with the TV crew that had been filming the family and compared a photo of Bojan's ears to Nicholas's ears and discovered that they did not match. In February 1998, the FBI obtained a court order to take the young man's fingerprints and DNA, which were later identified as belonging to Bojan. In September 1998, Budin pleaded guilty to passport fraud and perjury in a San Antonio federal court. He was imprisoned for six years, more than twice as long as recommended by the sentencing guidelines. Now, you would think he learned his lesson and got over his obsession of playing false identities. Well, Frederick's sick and cruel games continued. When Putin was returned to France from the US in 2003, he was nearly 30 years old. He moved to Grenoble, the largest city in southeastern France, and assumed the identity of Leo Bailey, a 14-year-old French boy who had been missing since 1996. DNA testing proved he was not Bailey. The totally sick, dark, twisted obsession of impersonating missing kids had overtaken Frederick by then. He wasn't going to stop, not even close. It was August 2004 and diabolical liar Frederick Bourdain was in Spain, claiming to be an adolescent named Ruben Sanche Espinosa, whose mother had been killed in the Madrid bomb attacks. When the police found out the truth, they deported him to France. Boudin's obsession was growing and the serial imposter continued with the sick game of deceit. It was 2005 and Frederick was about 31 years old then when he managed to pass himself off as Francisco Hernandez Fernandez, a 15-year-old Spanish orphan and spent a month in the college Jean Monnet, a junior high school in Pau, France. He claimed that his parents had been killed in a car accident. He dressed up as a teenager, adopted a kind of popular teenage walking style, covered his receding hairline with a basketball cap, and used depilatory face creams, which are hair removing creams. How old was he then, guys? You remember? 31. Impersonating a teenager. On 12th of June, an administrator from his school unmasked him after seeing a television program about his exploits. On 16 September that year, he was sentenced to four months in prison. According to interviews, Budin has been looking for love and affection and attention that he had never received as a child. He had pretended to be an orphan several times to feel love and care. Guys, I personally believe that it's very disturbing that this grown man who is a selfish, sick weirdo with a terrible personality disorder spent time in schools with kids. Do you agree? Stealing the identities of missing kids, getting the family's hopes up just to be shattered once again, and stealing the opportunity from a kidnapped child to be found. This is incredibly cruel. Frederick Borden is messed up totally, dangerous. Why is this sociopath even allowed to boast about his exploits on social media? To brag about his crimes? On 8th August 2007, Bogdan married a French woman named Isabel, and the couple resided in France with their five children. On 23rd March 2017, Bogdan made a Facebook post stating that Isabel had left him for another man. I don't know, guys, what do you think of this terrible man? Can you imagine how many searches would have got called off? Because he pretended to be the lost child found. I think it is savagely cruel and sick to pretend to be abducted kids. This deranged narcissist who caused immeasurable pain to families should have been locked up for a long time, don't you think? 
A psychology magazine had an article about imposters that said that Frederick Borden may have been and is still suffering from social anxiety disorder, SAD, and is feeling as though he doesn't belong in social or performance situations, as self-doubt and lack of confidence to be the person he really felt he was gave him an emotional shield with stolen identities. Let me know what you think, guys. Hope you like and subscribe. See you again soon and thank you for watching. Good night.